Hi everyone. So today I wanted to talk to you about negative externalities of consumption. Okay, negative externalities of consumption are associated with a class of goods called demerit goods. Okay, goods that are not only harmful to the consumer, but more importantly, harmful to the rest of society, like cigarettes, alcohol, gambling. Pornography. These are all examples of demerit goods. They generate the consumption of these demerit goods generates an external cost for the rest of society. So the MSB is lower than the MPB. Remember, there's an external cost associated with consumption. That's why、um, we're talking about negative externalities of consumption. The consumption of one individual doesn't just affect them. It generates an external cost. Or creates a negative externality for the rest of society. Now, because of this divergence between MSB and MPB,、um, QM、um, QM ends up being greater than Q opt. There's an over allocation of resources, and this creates a welfare loss. So, what does it look like diagrammatically? Let's have a look. So, remember on the supply side, on the supply side, the MPC and the MSC. Align so the supply is both the MPC and the MSC. Okay, um, the demand curve is the MPB. The intersection of the MPB and the MPC gives us QM and PM. Okay, this is the price. PM is the price that the market will charge. QM is the price. Is sorry, is the quantity that the market will provide. Well, where's the problem? The problem is that the MSB is lower than the MPB. So the intersection of MSB and MSC will give us Q opt and P opt. The problem is that there's an over allocation of resources, over allocation of resources in the form of overconsumption.、Um, the market is consuming more than it should. Okay, now remember, should is a very abstract concept, but the market is consuming more than it should. QM is greater than QOPT. Now this creates a welfare loss. To find the welfare loss, you need to shade. A triangle that points from Q M to Q opt. So this is the welfare loss here. This triangle here is the W L, the welfare loss that I talked about here, and the vertical distance between the M P B and the M S B. That's the external cost or the size of the negative externality. Okay, so remember there is no divergence on the supply side. The supply curve is both the MPC and the MSC. The divergence. This is not a shift. It's just a divergence. Things are not as they should be. Okay, the MSB is lower than the MPB because there's a negative externality. There's an external cost associated with consumption. The benefit to the individual. Okay. Um, when you add the external cost, you see. Sorry, the benefit to society is lower than the benefit to the individual. Think of、uh, secondhand smoking, or when you smoke around people who are not smokers, or even people who are smokers, they breathe in that secondhand smoke. Passive smoking is very harmful for them too.、Um, also, smokers、uh, are more likely to have heart attacks or develop illnesses and end up in hospitals, which drains society's resources because society pitches. In to 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 treating those smokers, right? So these are all external costs associated with consumption. Now, what can the government do? So let me zoom out and then zoom back in here. I created a sort of alternative slide on my board. What can the government do to correct negative externalities of consumption? There are three options. Option one is to impose an indirect tax. An indirect tax will raise the costs of production for the producers. This shifts the MPC and the MSC to the left, and brings QM closer to QOPT. Okay, so MPC, MSC, shifts to the left. So we'll call this MPC plus tax. 
And this brings Qm closer to Q opt. And it creates a higher price paid by the consumers, PC. This is the price paid by the consumers. And then the price received by the producers, PE, is at the level of P opt here. Okay, remember an indirect tax that's equal to the size of the negative externality will eliminate that negative externality, force consumers to pay a higher price, PC, and producers receive a lower price. And the difference between PC and PP, that's the amount of tax per unit. Okay, even though the divergence is on the demand side, the divergence is between the MPB and the MSB, the tax will actually raise the costs of production for producers, force them to produce less, which raises the price for consumers. Producers receive a lower price and consumers pay a higher price. So an indirect tax um, on demerit goods is a very effective, probably one of the most effective ways to discourage both consumption and production. And then there are two other strategies that target the demand. So legislation and regulation, which is designed to decrease demand. In that case, legislation and regulation will shift the MPB to the left and brings QM closer to Q opt. So on the second diagram here, so indirect tax is this first diagram at the top here. This is supposed to be an arrow, but it looks ugly. Let me try and draw it again. There you go. The second diagram here at the bottom, I will show you how legislation regulation affects the market. Basically, it shifts MPB closer to MSB, which should hopefully bring QM closer to QOPT. This, is, um, this targets demand or targets consumption. Okay, education and awareness does the same thing. So education and awareness cre creation, which is more of a long term strategy, um, teaches the young ones about the harmful effects of this product. And this is, again, designed to decrease demand, which does the same thing, shifts MPB to the left, closer to MSB and brings QM closer to Q opt. So um, strategy two and strategy three, you just kind of show a shift of MPB. Uh, to the left closer to MSB. Okay, um, where are some of the challenges? Well, first of all, with the indirect tax, it's really difficult with the indirect tax to estimate the exact um, external cost and thus determine how much of a tax per unit should be uh, imposed on the product. Okay, um, and therefore, if the tax is too low, it might not really discourage consumption by much. And if the tax is too high, it might discourage production too much that it creates too much unemployment in that industry. Because remember, there are tobacco farmers and workers who work in tobacco factories and cigarette factories, right? Any tax that increases the cost of production of producers um, will also affect employment in, in tobacco farms and tobacco and cigarette factories. Um, so the government has to kind of weigh the costs and benefits. Yes, we want to discourage consumption and discourage production of these demerit goods, um, but also recognize that, you know, some places depend on their income uh, from selling tobacco, like some states um, really are, are heavily dependent on tobacco farms and selling tobacco. And there are lots of people who work in tobacco factories. So these are all things you need to think about. Examples of legislation regulation, like age requirements um, in many um, places around the world, you have to be at least 18 uh, or 21 to smoke cigarettes or to buy alcohol, for example. Um, banning smoking indoors, not allowing indoor smoking. That's an example of legislation regulation. Uh, teaching uh, consumers about the harmful effects of cigarettes. Um, having ads uh, about the dangers of drinking and driving. All of these are part of education and awareness creation. So these are all, so basically I tried to kind of summarize everything that you need to know about negative externalities of consumption. Um, I started with kind of defining them and talking about the diagram. And um, remember, they are associated with what we call demerit goods. 
Okay. Um, I, I explained the diagram, I explained the welfare loss, the external cost, and then I talked about strategies um, or forms of government intervention to correct this market failure, correcting negative externalities of consumption or correcting market failure in the form, sorry, market failure created by um, negative externalities of consumption. Uh, there is the option of indirect taxes. Uh, there's the option of legislation regulation. There's the option of education and awareness creation. Um, governments rely on a mixture of all of these. Okay, so governments will often tax, say, cigarettes or alcohol at very high rates and at the same time uh, spend lots of money on awareness campaigns and education campaigns to teach people about the dangers of overconsumption or create laws to make sure that the consumption is done safely in regulated spaces like alcohol, for example. Um, all of these are uh, forms of government intervention in an attempt to correct market failure due to negative externalities of consumption. Um, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you check the video description below, you'll find the link to becoming a member. I have practice questions about negative externalities, calculations, sample essays. Uh, and also, please feel free to leave any questions in the comment section below. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.